Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless us. How are we doing today? We are blessed and we are highly favored to be amongst the living this day, to be able to open our eyes, to be able to breathe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for being a shield of protection over us and over our families. Thank you for protecting our going out and our coming in, in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go about our daily affairs, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. And because we abide under the shadow of the Almighty God, every dark arrow fired at us, fired at our families, shall backfire by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we put our trust in the Lord, he satisfies us with long life and shows us his salvation. He shows us his mercies, which are fresh every morning. Amen. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit sits on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Amen. Jesus is indeed the way. Amen. Before we continue with our prayers, I just wanted to follow up really quickly on some comments about the Friday and Sunday intercessory prayers for the nation and the church. Amen. A wonderful sister asks, and I mentioned this some time ago, so I'm just following up. Amen. A wonderful sister had asked about including all the Friday and all the Sunday intercessory prayers instead of just the 10 that we normally pray. Other members said that the 10 prayers that we pray in the prayer session are good and that we can pray the full prayers on our own. Amen. So we give thanks to God and to everybody for their comments. Love those comments. Keep those comments coming. So what we're going to do is we will keep our scripture reading because that is the biblical foundation for each section. Now, there was one member who, I don't know if it's a brother or a sister, but I believe they go by the name of Star. They suggested that instead of praying the same first 10 prayers for the nation and the church on Fridays and Sundays, we should pray like different sets of those 10 prayers. For example, we've already prayed the first 10. So what we'll do is, for, for example, today's Friday, so we'll pray for the nation, prayer points 11 through 20, and then the following week, we'll pray the prayer points 21 through 30, and so on and so forth. Amen? So we'll be doing that for the Friday and Sunday intercessory prayers for the nation and the church. The full videos, the full prayer sessions for the nation prayers and the church intercessory prayers will still be available and uh, we are encouraged to pray those prayers on our own the lord will bless us as we do so amen amen so uh, that was a great suggestion from one of our members on this platform we give glory to god you know because no one person may necessarily have all the answers to everything so collaborative collaborative efforts are good so multiple heads are better than one. Multiple good heads are better than one a lot of the time. Amen. Amen. So we thank God and thank you, Jesus. And thank you to everybody for all the great comments. Amen. Amen. Welcome to day 19 of MFM's annual 70 days prayer and fasting program tagged prayer battle Two. We are in section two entitled, Thou Art My Battle Axe. My Father, my God, empower my battle axe against the wicked enemies operating secretly against my destiny and against the destinies of my family members in Jesus' name. Amen. 
You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. That wonderful name. Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name. Jesus, there is no greater name I know. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. We lift up holy hands in one accord. Let's lift up our voices in one accord and praise the name of the Lord God. Let's praise the name of our God for He is a loving God. He is a caring God. He is a compassionate God. Let's thank the Lord God because He is our healer. He is our deliverer. He is our provider and He is our Savior. Lord, we bless your name because you are a great God. You are the only true God. You are the only creator God. All the other gods, O oh Lord, are the works of man. You are the only true God. Lord, we bless your name because you are the omnipotent God. You are the omniscient God and you are the omnipresent God. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for fighting our battles. Lord, we bless your name because you are the rock of ages. You are the ancient of days. You are a faithful God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the one who was, the one who is, and is to come. Thank you, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we glorify you and we magnify you, Lord God, for who you are. Glory, glory, all glory be to your name. In Jesus' name, we've praised him and we've thanked him. Amen. Let us now repent and confess our sins. The word of the Lord says that the prayers of a sinner are an abomination unto the Lord. We do not want our prayers to be an abomination because if they are, the Lord will not regard us. The Lord is holy. He cannot regard anything that is an abomination. Amen. Amen. So let's ask the Lord to remove from our lives, from our families, any sin, any iniquity, any abomination that would cause him to turn away from us. Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us of the sins in our daily lives, sins that we commit consciously and unconsciously, sins that we know of and sins that we know not of, sins of omission, sins of commission, sins in thought, word, and deed. Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us of the sins in our bloodline. Forgive us of sins in our family and in our communities. Lord, show us your mercy. Show us your compassion and remove our sin, our iniquity away from us as far as the east is from the west. Let the blood of Jesus wash the stain of sin away from our lives. In Jesus' name, we've asked for forgiveness and we are forgiven by the mercy and by the compassion of God. Amen. Let us now cover ourselves and our families with the blood of Jesus. We soak our body, our soul, our spirit in the blood of Jesus. Everything and anything that pertains to us and to our families, we soak it, we saturate it, and we laminate it in the healing, cleansing, and delivering blood of Jesus. Any place where our feet trod, we soak it and we saturate it in the blood of Jesus. Covenant blood of Jesus, cover us. Passover blood of Jesus, cover us, we pray. In Jesus' name, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free 
Oh, the blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. Amen, amen. Let us now continue with our scripture reading taken from 1 Samuel chapter 17. We will then continue with our scripture confession, and that is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20. We will sing our devotional hymns and then enter into praise and thanksgiving prayers. After our praise and thanksgiving prayers, we will pray 10 Friday prayers for the nation. Amen? Amen. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a full version of all the prayers, all the Friday prayers for the nation, and we could pray those on our own. The Lord bless us as we do so. Amen. After the 10 Friday prayers for the nation, we will then continue with our deliverance prayers. Amen. Amen. Now, for those who are listening to us, praying along with us, and perhaps do not know the Lord Jesus as the Lord and Savior, or maybe you just want to rededicate your life to him, repeat after me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I repent for my sins and I invite you into my heart, into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. Your name is now written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. I pray that the Holy Spirit overshadows you and remains your constant guide. Amen. Let us also intercede for the unsaved ones in our families, in our communities, who have yet to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Oh Lord, we pray that you open their eyes open their hearts, open their minds so that they turn away from darkness to light, so that they turn away from the power of sin to the power of God. And we pray, O oh Lord God, that they experience the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And now for our scripture reading. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Please bring out your Bibles. Read along with us. The Lord bless us as we do so. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shoko, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Shoko and Azekah in Ephes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. 
and the Philistine drew near morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they, and all the men of Israel, were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep with the keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled before him, and were sore afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistines. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. 
And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until thou come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearaim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. Amen. Every Goliath boasting against our lives, against our families, receive the stones of fire and die in Jesus' name. Amen. Next is our scripture confession taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Amen. <laughs>
second one says, I have been changed. Well, I've been to the river, I've been baptized. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I've been changed from the creature that once I was. And redeem is now my name. I've been changed, I'm a newborn now. All my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh, yes, I have been changed. Shall it be in Jesus' name?
shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side nor wander from thy pathway if thou wilt be my guide oh let me feel thee near me the world is ever near i see the sights that dazzle, the tempting sounds I hear. My foes are ever near me, around me and within. But Jesus, draw thou nearer and shield my soul from sin. Oh, let me hear thee speaking. Since clear and still above the storms of passion, the murmurs of self will. Oh, speak to reassure me, to hasten or control. Oh, speak and make me listen, thou guardian of my soul. Oh, Jesus, thou hast promised to all who follow thee that where thou art in glory, there shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow. Amen. Now for our praise and thanksgiving prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for drawing me to prayer and power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for producing spiritual gifts upon my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the fruit of the Spirit working in me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonderful gift of praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the ways you've intervened in my affairs. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your divine plan for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for bringing me to a place of maturity and deeper life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me up when I fall. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for keeping me in perfect peace. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making all things work together for good for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for protecting me from the snares of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonder-working power in your word and in the blood of the Lamb. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for giving your angels charge over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fighting for me against my adversaries. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making me more than a conqueror. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for supplying all my needs according to your riches and glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your healing power upon my body, soul, and spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for flooding my heart with the light of heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for always causing me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for turning my curses into blessings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for enabling me to dwell in safety. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the blessings of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your greatness, your power, your glory, your majesty, your splendor, and your righteousness. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for silencing the foe and the avenger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for you are at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, because you are trustworthy, and you will help your own. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for not allowing my enemies to rejoice over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your wonderful love. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for delivering my soul from death and my feet from stumbling. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you are my fortress and refuge in time of trouble. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your faithfulness and marvelous deeds. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your act of power and surpassing greatness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for dispersing spiritual blindness from my spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me out of the depths. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for preserving me and keeping my feet from slipping. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your name is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and he is safe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Because your name is a strong tower, me and my family are righteous through Christ Jesus. We run into your name, the strong tower, and we are safe in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today's Friday prayers for the nation. We shall pray prayers, prayer points 11 through 20 in the book. So... Those prayers are on pages 17 and 18. So we'll just pray this set of 10 prayers. And then if we could pray the rest of the prayers on our own, the Lord bless us as we do so. Amen. Oh, Lord, let the desires, plans, devices, and expectations of the enemy for this country be completely frustrated in Jesus' name. Every satanic curse on this nation fall to the ground and die in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, let all sins, ungodliness, idolatry, and vices cease in the land in the name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant and dedication made upon our land in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over the nation in Jesus' name. I decree the will of God for this land, whether the devil likes it or not, in the name of Jesus. All contrary powers and authorities in this land be confounded and be put to shame in the name of Jesus. I close every satanic gate in every city of this country in Jesus name every evil throne in this country be dashed to pieces in Jesus name I bind all negative forces operating in the lives of the leaders of this country in the name of Jesus amen amen thank you Jesus now, there is a full video. There's a video of the full version of all the Friday prayers for the nation that's available. It's available at the end of the video. So at the end of this prayer meeting, at the end of the video, there is a video entitled Prayers for the Nation. So just go ahead and click on that and pray the prayers. We'll pray the prayers on our own. The Lord will bless us as we do so. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God of Elijah, send down fire. 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 
God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. Now for the day nine prayers. We are on day 19, and in the book, which goes by sections, we are on day nine, section two. Amen. My hand. Refuse to befriend, befriend poverty in the name of Jesus. My hand and the hands of my family members refuse, refuse, refuse to befriend poverty in the name of Jesus. My hands and the hands of my family members refuse, refuse, refuse to befriend poverty in the name of Jesus. My hands, my hands, my hands, hear the word of the Lord and the hands of my family members, hear the word of the Lord. Refuse, refuse, refuse to befriend poverty in Jesus' name. Amen. With the blood of Jesus, I destroy every dream disgracing my family and I in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus I destroy I destroy I destroy every dream disgracing my family and I in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus I destroy I destroy I destroy every dream disgracing my family and I in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus I destroy I destroy I destroy every Every dream disgracing my family and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. Evil flies of the enemies following me like a shadow catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil flies of the enemy following my family and I like a shadow catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil flies of the enemies following my family and I like a shadow. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil flies of the enemy, following my family and I like a shadow. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil flies of the enemies, following my family and I like a shadow. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, let my enemies lick the dust in disgrace. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members lick the dust, lick the dust, lick the dust in disgrace. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members lick the dust in disgrace, lick the dust in disgrace, lick the dust in disgrace. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members lick the dust in disgrace, lick the dust in disgrace, lick the dust in disgrace. In the name of Jesus, amen. My mistakes from the past making me wear curses like a garment blood of jesus scatter them in the name of jesus my mistakes and the mistakes of my family members from the past making us wear curses like a garment blood of jesus scatter them blood of jesus scatter them blood of jesus scatter them in the name of jesus my mistakes and the mistakes of my family members from the past making us wear curses like a garment blood of jesus scatter them blood of jesus scatter them blood of jesus scatter them in the name of jesus my mistakes and the mistakes of my family members from the past making us wear curses like a garment blood of jesus scatter them by fire in jesus name amen holy ghost flog the enemies of my progress until they take their hands off in the name of jesus holy ghost holy ghost flog the enemies of my progress flog the enemies of the progress of my family members until they take their hands off in the name of jesus holy ghost holy ghost Flog the enemies of my progress. 
flog the enemies of the progress of my family members until they take their hands off our lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, flog, flog the enemies of my progress, flog the enemies of the progress of my family members until they take their hands off our destinies in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, flog the enemies of my progress, flog the enemies of the progress of my family members until they take their hands off our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, if I've left my place of blessings, chase me back there by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, if my family members and I have left our places of blessings, chase us back there, chase us back there, chase us back there in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, if my family members and I have left our place of blessings, chase us back there, chase us back there, chase us back there in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, if my family members and I have left our place of blessings, chase us back there, chase us back there, chase us back there by fire. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, let my enemies prostrate me in tears in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members prostrate to us in tears in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members prostrate to us in tears in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members prostrate, prostrate, prostrate to us in tears in the name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke. And I kill the spirit of tiredness in my blood in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and I kill the spirit of tiredness in my blood and in the blood of my family members in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and I kill. I rebuke and I kill. I rebuke and I kill the spirit of satanic tiredness in my blood and in the blood of my family members in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and I kill. I rebuke and I kill. I rebuke and I kill by fire the spirit of tiredness in my blood and in the blood of my family members in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, kill the stammering power in my tongue in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, kill the stammering power in my tongue and in the tongues of my family members in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, kill the stammering power, kill stammering power, kill stammering power in my tongue. And in the tongue of my family members, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, kill stammering power, kill stammering power, kill stammering power in my tongue. And in the tongues of my family members, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, kill stammering power, kill stammering power, kill stammering power in my tongue. And in the tongues of my family members, in the name of Jesus, amen. My enemies never, that never cease to go to herbalists for help. Oh God, terminate them in the name of Jesus. My enemies and the enemies of my family members that never cease to go to herbalists for help. Oh God, terminate them. Oh God, terminate them. Oh God, terminate them by fire in the name of Jesus. My enemies and the enemies of my family members that never cease to go to herbalists for help. Oh God, terminate them. Oh God, terminate them. Terminate them by fire in the name of Jesus. My enemies and the enemies of my family members that never cease to go to herbalists for help. Oh God, terminate them by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, erase my physical and spiritual problems with ease in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, erase, erase, erase with the blood of Jesus the physical and spiritual problems of my family and I with ease in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, erase with ease, erase with ease, erase with ease the physical and spiritual problems of my family members and I in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, erase, erase, erase with the blood of Jesus, erase, erase with ease the physical and spiritual problems of my family members and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. All enemies running around to destroy my family and I shall be a source of blessing for us 
in the name of Jesus. All enemies running around to destroy my family and I shall be a source of blessing, shall be a source of blessing, shall be a source of blessing for my family and I in the name of Jesus. All enemies running around to destroy my destiny, to destroy the destinies of my family members shall be a source of blessing, shall be a source of blessing, shall be a source of blessing for us in the name of Jesus. All enemies running around to destroy my family and I shall be a source of blessing for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever has been set up to do my family and I harm, the Lord shall use it for our goodness in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been set up to harm my family and I, the Lord shall use it for goodness. The Lord shall use it for our goodness. The Lord shall use it for our goodness in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been set up to do harm to my family and I, the Lord shall use it for our goodness. The Lord shall use it for the goodness of my family and I in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been set up to harm my family and I, the Lord shall use it for our goodness in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak destruction unto the headquarters of wicked elders, and I blow up their altars in the name of Jesus. I speak destruction. I speak destruction. I speak destruction unto the headquarters of the wicked elders, and I blow up their altars. I blow up their altars. I blow up their altars in the name of Jesus. I speak destruction. I speak destruction. I speak destruction unto the headquarters of the wicked elders, and I blow up their altars. I blow up their altars. I blow up their altars in the name of Jesus. I speak destruction I speak destruction I speak destruction unto the headquarters of the wicked elders and I blow up their altars in the name of Jesus I speak destruction unto the headquarters of the wicked elders and I blow up their altars in the name of Jesus amen ancestral graveyard of my father's house waiting for my body in the grave Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Ancestral graveyard of my father's house. Waiting for my body and the bodies of my family members in the grave. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Ancestral graveyard of my father's house. Waiting for my body and the bodies of my family members in the grave. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Ancestral graveyard of my father's house. Waiting for my body and the bodies of my family members in the grave. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of God, I will not embark on a journey that will lead me to the mortuary in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, my family and I will not embark on a journey that will lead us to the mortuary in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, my family and I will not embark on the journey that will lead us to the mortuary in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, by the power of God, by the power of God, my family and I will not, will not, we will not embark on the journey that will lead us to the mortuary in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, let the water from the side of Christ wash away every poison in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the water from the side of Christ wash away, wash away, wash away every poison in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the water from the side of Christ wash away, wash away, wash away every poison in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let the water from the side of Christ wash away, wash away, wash Wash away every poison in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. Amen. All curses harassing my life and my family go back to where you came from and be replaced with blessings in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. All curses harassing my life, harassing my family, go back to where you came from. Go back to where you came from and be replaced with blessings in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. All curses harassing my life and my family, go back, go back, go back.
go back to where you came from and be replaced with blessings in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. All curses harassing my life and my family. Go back to where you came from and be replaced with blessings in my life and in my family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sword of the Lord pass through the camp of my enemies for destruction in the name of Jesus. Sword of the Lord, sword of the Lord, sword of fire of the Lord, pass through the camp of my enemies and the enemies of my family members for destruction in the name of Jesus. Sword of the Lord, sword of the Lord, pass through the camp of my enemies, pass through the camp of the enemies of my family members for destruction in the name of Jesus. Sword of the Lord, pass through the camp of my enemies, Pass through the camp of the enemies of my family members for destruction in the name of Jesus. Amen. My father, send the horses and the riders assigned to trouble my family and I into a deep sleep in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, send the horses and the riders assigned to trouble my family and I into a deep sleep, into a deep sleep, into a deep sleep in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, send the horses, send the riders assigned to trouble my family and I into a deep sleep in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, send the horses, send the riders assigned to trouble my my family and I into a deep sleep in the name of Jesus. Amen. Destructive reign of God fall upon every violent battle arranged against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Destructive reign of God fall, fall, fall upon every violent battle arranged against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Destructive reign of God fall, fall, fall upon every violent battle arranged against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Destructive reign of God fall, fall, fall upon every violent battle arranged against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God, arise and send your wasters to waste every enemy of my destiny in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Arise in your might. Arise in your power and send your wasters to waste every enemy of my destiny and to waste every enemy of the destinies of my family members in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, arise. Arise. Arise in your might and power and send your wasters to waste every enemy of my destiny and to waste every enemy of the the destinies of my family members in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and send you wasters to waste every enemy of my destiny and to waste every enemy of the destinies of my family members in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wasters from heaven, waste every force of Goliath assigned against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Waste us from heaven. Waste every force of Goliath assigned against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Waste us from heaven. Waste, waste, waste every force of Goliath assigned against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Waste us from heaven. Waste us from heaven. Waste, waste, waste every force of Goliath assigned against my family and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power assigned to molest my family and I, we command you to leave us forever in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to waste my family and I, we command you to leave us forever, leave us forever, leave us forever in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to molest my family and I, we command you to leave us, we command you to leave us, we command you to leave us forever in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to waste my family and I, we command you to leave us, we command you to leave us, we command you to leave us forever in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to molest my family and I, we command you to leave us forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, by your mercy, my ladder of greatness shall not break 
in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, by your mercy, my ladder of greatness, the ladder of greatness of my family members shall not break, shall not break, shall not break in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, by your mercy, my ladder of greatness, the ladders of greatness of my family members shall not break, shall not break, shall not break in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, by your mercy, my ladder of greatness, and the ladder of greatness of my family members shall not break, shall not break, shall not break in the name of Jesus. Amen. Satanic violence set up against the mercy of God for my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic violence set up against the mercy of God for my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic violence set up against the mercy of God for my life and my family, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic violence set up against the mercy of God for my life and my family, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus, satanic violence set up against the mercy of God for my life, scatter by fire in Jesus' name, amen. Wicked powers delaying the manifestation of my divine mercy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Wicked powers delaying the manifestation of my divine mercy and the divine mercy of my family be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Wicked powers delaying the manifestation of my divine mercy and the divine mercy of my family be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Wicked powers delaying the the manifestation of my divine mercy, delaying the manifestation of the divine mercy of my family members, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program is brought to us by Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries International under the leadership of Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Let us thank God for the life of Dr. Olukoya, for the life of his dear wife and their children. We soak them in the blood of Jesus and we envelope them in the fire of the Holy Ghost. They will not faint, nor will they grow weary in their divine assignment. Oh Lord, let your hand of grace, let your hand of mercy never depart from them in the name of Jesus enemies running around to destroy them, to destroy their ministry. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let their enemies prostrate to them in shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, take our general overseer, his family, and their ministry to higher heights by your grace, by your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said that you'll build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We soak our prayers. We soak the answers to our prayers and our testimonies in the blood of Jesus. Powers of darkness, enemies raging against our prayers, raging against our testimonies. Collide, collide, collide with the rock of ages and be ground to powder in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow us. Holy Spirit, overshadow us. Holy Spirit, overshadow us and our families in the name of Jesus. Almighty Almighty God, prove yourself in our lives and in the lives of our family members daily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us say the grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Three victorious hallelujahs for what the Lord has done and will continue to do for us and our families in this program. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying along with us. Have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend in Jesus name. God bless us. Amen. Yeah.
Your name is God. Mighty man of war. You are the real God. You are God. There is no doubt about that. You are big and strong. You are the mighty God. Mighty man of war that has never lost any battle. You are the woman I me. Consuming fire. Mysterious and powerful God. You are the real God. You are the mighty man, you are the mighty man of God war. Of Elijah, you answer by fire. You answer by God fire. Elijah, you are the, the real God. God. You are God that fights and answers by fire. You are fearless, you are the rock, you are the God of all flesh. You are the divine supplier, divine provider. I'm all God of God. Your power is different, miraculous and wonderful. You are the real God. God of Elijah, your name is your God. Name is God. God of Elijah, you are the half of an omega. God of Elijah, you are the God of Elijah that has us by fire. God of Elijah, you, you are, are the real God. God. Well, Consume me fire that no enemy can stand. God of Elijah, come and answer your name. You have done it before, you will do it again and again, God of Elijah. God of Elijah, come and answer your name. As a God that put enemies to shame, God of Elijah. God of Elijah, come and answer your name. Aside you, there is no other God that can say and come to pass. God of Elijah, come and answer all your name in my life. Answer by fire. God of Elijah, come and answer all your name in my life. As a divine provider, answer your name in my life. God of Elijah, come and answer all your name in my life. You are the God of Olukoya, answer your name in my life. A strong man in my life. God of Elijah, come and answer all your name. In my Big life. God, you are, prove yourself in my life. Eh? God of Elijah, come and answer. 